In today we shall be looking at forces acting on structures. Okay, what is a force? A force can be a pull or a push that tend to make an object change its shape or what position. All right, force. Uh, there are different kinds of force. All right, and a structure is any design made by man. It can be a school, can be a bridge, can be even a chair and a table. Are all examples of what structure. All forces are divided into two that act on the structures. They are external forces and what? Internal forces. External forces are the forces that act outside the structure. Okay? They act against the structure and they threaten the integrity of what? The structure that is. They want the structure to what? For example, is your wind pulling. We have precipitation. We have hailstone. We have snow even rain okay all oh, are examples of what external force one major external force we'll look at that affects the structure is what gravity gravity affects an object because of the weight so the more the weight of an object the more the gravity as you move higher from earth to space gravity also what decreases so gravity is object that pulls object towards the center of the world it. Remember, any object that goes up must surely do what? Come down because of what? Gravity. And internal forces. Internal forces are divided into four major ones. We have compression, we have tension, we have torsion, and then we have shear. Okay? So we also have bending. But these are the four major ones. Let's look at this wind. Wind is pushing this tree. Okay? As the wind is pushing the tree, the tree refuses to what? To break. Why? Because there is an internal force holding this tree. Why the wind is acting as what? External force. So what we can say here is when our internal force is stronger than our external force, our structure will not fail. Is it not? It will not break. But when our external force is greater, our structure will break. Look at David. David is applying force in bending or trying to break this uh, scale. But on the other hand, the scale refuse to what to break why because there is an internal force holding the scale from breaking or preventing the scale from what breaking and is greater than what external force applied by what david you see it now yes so you must understand that internal force prevent the structure from failing why external force act against the structure all right let's look at compression compression is a force that pulls object closer okay it pulls object together what, what example can you see yes you can see the foam when i apply a compressing a compression force the foam will do what go down and when i release man the internal force will release this compression force in the opposite word direction you get it now another example is what your spring okay look at the spring when i apply my force it's a compressive force you pull it so when i release it the internal force will release this force that was applied in the opposite world direction so so far so good you now understand what compression force is is it not it is a force that pulls the object closer is it not you pull it closer let's look at tension why compression is busy pulling pushing the object downward are you seeing it now on the other hand tension is a force that makes a material go longer so it drags a material and the material will go longer it's called tension look at this rubber band when you apply force the material expands the material has an internal force which we call tension that internal force is what is preventing this rubber band for what breaking if i apply tension that is greater than the internal force if i apply a force that's greater than the tension of the rubber band the rubber band will break you get it now a typical example is your catapult when you put a stone in the catapult you apply what tension now the tension inside this rubber band prevents the rubber band from what breaking so if i release the rubber band the force will pull the stone and the stone will move but the rubber band will return back to its what normal position why because of his tension okay because of the internal force you call the what 
tension that enables the rubber band to return. So you've learned compression, a pressing force against an object, and you've learned tension, which is an elongating force that expands what an object. A very good example of these two is a bridge. Now, when this car is passing, the top part of the bridge will experience what compression. Is it not? Yes, it's a compression because there is a push from the weight of the car. Why the underneath the bridge that is made with iron will experience what tension? Because the car is what and the bridge is what and you get it because of the weight also. Do you get it now? Yes. So let's look at torsion. Torsion is why tension uh, compression is pressing elongation and tension is elongation torsion is a squeezing force you see it now you squeeze a material i can see your, your your cloth so when you squeeze it it affects it in different ways some we bend some we break okay that is very important for you to know so ensure that your structure is able to withstand external forces by making sure that your design has enough internal work forces. Otherwise, your structural work will fail. Engineers, when they are constructing structure, they are putting into consideration some natural forces. Okay, natural forces are those forces we do not expect. They include earthquake, hurricane, tsunami, volcanic eruption heat waves, cold frost, okay, and others, all right? It is very important to design your structure in such a way that what? These forces do not just destroy your structure permanently, and there are four things you can possibly do. So one, you ensure that your structure can carry the load properly, okay, or equally. Two, make sure that you use angle to reduce load theory, Use good shape okay, to design a structure like the airplane, for example. Then four, make sure you use good materials for your structure. For example, you want to build a boat. You can't go and be using iron, is it not? If you use iron or throw apple to your boat, your boat will sink, is it not? So learn to use the right material for the right design. Forces acting on structures. External forces act on the outside of the structure. Gravity pulls down on all structures. Precipitation pushes down on all structures. Wind pushes on all structures. Tectonic plate activity pull and push on structures. push on structures. Live loads, the mass of the people and vehicles pushing on structures. Dead load, the mass of the object pushing on itself. Internal forces, push or pull inside the structure. Compression, an internal force pressing inward on a structure. Tension, an internal force pulling a structure apart. Shear, an internal force that pushes in opposite directions. Torsion, an internal force that causes a twist or rotation. I believe you now know what external forces is, and you know examples of external forces. You know gravity, you know precipitation, you know uh dead load life load you know different kinds of external forces you know you also know the internal forces okay compression tension you know shear you know torsion okay that brings us to the end of the lesson try and take a quiz on this class